one shot every one second. That's six rounds magazine in AMX 1357. Quite impressive, isn't it? I'm Neil and this is my review. AMX 1357 history is quite short. Development started in 1946 as a vehicle portable by air, which was supposed to support paratroopers. Quite clever idea, drop soldiers and drop tank with them. Sweet idea with major restriction and that was a weight. 13 in the name is original weight of the tank and the second number, which is in this case 57, is the caliber of a gun. Very soon the 57's history finished when MX-13 was equipped during a development with 75mm gun, which resulted in another tank we know, an AMX-1375. Production started in 1952 and in 1966 75mm gun was replaced by 90mm gun. That tank was obviously known as MX-1390. France stopped producing MX-13 in 1987 and there are many countries which are using them till today. Moving to World of Tanks Blades, AMX-1357 is a light tank, just like other AMX-13 tanks, this time as a tier 7 one. As we already have AMX-1375 as a tier 7 light tank, it is quite interesting to compare mostly these two tanks, but I'm not going to exclude others. Starting with the gun, we see the major and outstanding difference. MX-1357 have amazing 6 round magazine, shooting 1 round per second. Yeah, per second. There is not a single light tank in a blitz with such big magazine. With average 90 damage per shot, the potential average clip damage is 540, which is far more than any other clip. Such clip makes is awesome for uh, finishing enemies and doing kind of slow version of hit and run. I would advise trying to flank, empty the clip and run away. Reload, empty the clip again and run away again. Repeat this till end of the game. Why it is so? Well, after you empty your clip, you're like duck to be shot for 11 seconds. Just like other auto-loading lights. So, run! Comparing 57 to 75 gives me weird feeling. Feels like 57 is just better tank in almost every aspect. 57 have higher DPM, 1 mm worse penetration, which is quite insignificant. Same aim time, better dispersion and even gun depression. Comparing it to all other tier 7 lights, the only tank with higher DPM is Type 62, so this one have the highest DPM out of all auto-loading lights. Penetration is the worst, but shell velocity is pretty sweet, so you don't need to pre-aim much. And it is again better than on 1375. Aim time is best in class and gun dispersion as well. The gun depression of 7 degrees, which I mentioned before, is not something impressive, but still quite usable. All in all, gun is an amazing one, and uh, I think it's great for uh, sniping and finishing already wounded opponents. Rest of the stats is just light thing. 61 forward and 23 km an hour backwards is definitely not slow, but most of the lights are just faster. Power to weight ratio just confirms this pattern. How about armor? Well, it is exactly the same as on AMX 1375, basically non-existent and great HE magnet. There is one thing which is going for 1357 very well. Not very significant, but 100 HP more than other standard light tanks. And why it's so? Well, if 1357 will meet 1375, Oh wait, this would be way too confusing now. If 1357 will meet, let's say, Bulldog, following things will happen. First of all, 1357 will empty the clip, reload and empty the clip again into the Bulldog with 5 plus 11 plus 5 seconds, which makes it 21 seconds. That's 1080 damage done and Bulldog is dead. Bulldog needs to repeat same process in 2 seconds less, so after 19 seconds Bulldog would do in average 960 damage 
and is already reloading. So, after 21 seconds, when 1357 finishes the clip, the Bulldog is dead, and 1357 is still alive with 140 health points. If both tanks would miss one shot from a clip due to heat of a battle, this gets even worse. Okay, so while you've seen one master during my speech, I'm going to show you another one right now and then I will answer if it's worth getting or not. And here we are on a Middleburg. Uh, our bulldog already ran away uh, for a B cap. I'm standing here on a C cap and see what will happen. Uh, I think there'll be bulldog which will be dead right away. That was his first shot. And that's a bulldog gone. Pretty sad, isn't it? In the meantime, enemy have also a bulldog, a panther, and we see the bulldog here. He does not have a reload. Um, the auto loader. We emptied the clip into him and missed one. That was 448 damage. Pretty sweet. He kept capping. I don't know. I would do it probably a different way. So let's empty the another clip into him. Bam, bam. That was a missed one. Uh, engine fire, he had an automatic one, automatic fire extinguisher, and he's 49 health points. That's what happens when you miss two shots. Alrighty, we are full health and uh, Bulldog is gone. So let's cap. Uh, we already lost Tiger P as well. Uh, we missed a lovely opportunity on shooting Black Prince, and I think there'll be a uh, Emil going from left to right very soon. In the meantime, he executed KV-1S. Will he come? Ah, we see him. First shot. Missed. I love this reload. Lovely, lovely. So, Emil is gone. The only one which actually did... He did two kills. SC-100 did one more. Full health KV-2. Hello, KV-2. He's waiting to kill a Hellcat. You see the reload is just awesome. Bam, 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 bam. Lovely. 500 damage done. KV2 is gone as well. Panther, Black Prince. So while we were losing on kills, now we are winning. It's 4 on 2. 4 on 3. No, 3 on 2. Hello, Black Prince. And you see, this is the moment when you should not circle to death. You should go empty your clip and run away because that black prince have 3000 damage per minute and I would be dead so dead right now he gave up chasing me I'm fully reloaded now he's going to consume or try to consume BK 30d so we'll empty another clip lovely and hide again you we don't want to get hit we have lovely lovely re reload we get hit now, but doesn't matter. Reload it. And the game is over. That was pretty fast. Lovely game. Um, right now, for a mastery, we needed... Where it is? It was 2901 damage. That's, that's pretty sweet. Did we do any spotting? No. One damage made by spotting. I was an enemy spotted, I'm sorry. So the question is now, is it worth it? Is it a good tank? Um, I think it is. It is a sweet one and brings a bit of fresh air into tier seven lineup. So I think it's a good one and you should get one. So that's it from today, from me. Uh, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a like. If you don't, give it a dislike. And uh, yeah, subscribe. And that's it. Um, I'll see you in other videos. And in the meantime, I wish you loads of MRX and loads of great games. Bye, guys.